So now I'm going to tell the story. Now we could cool down just a little bit, but we're going to bring the energy back up. But now is the time for the story. All right. Six years ago, approximately, it's 2021. So it had been about summer or so, about six years ago. I lived in the state of Iowa, a state that's mostly made of corn. Okay. It is a, uh, unfortunately a bit of a cultural wasteland, which is a little sad, but I had some good times there and they have real, real good cheese curds and some of the best pizza in the country. Weirdly enough, don't know why. Okay. But that's where I lived at the time. I was working at a movie store. Yeah. Oh shit. My phone's freaking out. What do I got over here? I got fucking a lot of stuff. I got to post some pictures. Uh, here, use my phone and go on my Twitter and post reveal pictures of the tongue and tell them to come over to my stream. Where did I get my pizza? Casey's General Store. Casey's General Store, legit amazing. They have a macaroni and cheese pizza. You think starch on top of a pizza? It's fucking crazy. It's fucking good. None of that matters, okay? None of that matters, okay? I was working at a movie store. I was getting back into film again because I went to film school in my early 20s. Didn't finish three times because of money. You know, that's how that shit works. Doesn't matter. I learned a lot of shit, as you can tell. <clears throat> not about audio, as you can also tell. Have I ever had Publix? Of course I have. I've lived all over the United States. I've basically been to any fucking store that you can imagine, except for a couple of weird fast food chains. But listen up, listen up, listen up, listen up, listen up. Don't get distracted, okay? And it was at that time that I decided I wanted to be, I wanted to mod my body. I, I was sitting there. I was thinking about a lot of things. I was uh, at a juncture in my life where I was either going to go back into sales again, which I hated and left because it was terrible, or I was going to go forward and become a writer, a professional writer. Now, those of you who've watched my show, you know what happened. You know that I became a professional writer for a while, even though it was miserable. Being a writer now is horrible, horrible, miserable experience. It's all gig economy. It's terrible, but I did it anyway. Um, and my alternative path at that time was to go work for Microsoft, okay? You understand? There's a reason why I'm telling this story and it'll make sense in a minute, okay? It'll make it'll make a lot of sense as to why I'm right here right now with this fucking tongue and this fucking body. I had an offer on the table from Microsoft, okay? In sales, okay? A lot of money. I'm talking fucking mondo cash more cash than i could have ever even imagined like i'm talking big cash okay not big cash in like the hassan level or like the xqc level but big cash for me a lot okay and i was good at sales that's why i got that offer that's why i have that on the table but i was gonna have to do a couple things okay the first of those things is that i was gonna have to leave the people that i live with at the time and go move up to North fucking Dakota, to Fargo, North Dakota, which I don't know if you've ever heard of the movie Fargo, but it's kind of made fun of for being in the middle of goddamn nowhere. Well, guess what? Uh, because of capitalism, North Dakota gave Microsoft re a sweetheart deal on taxes. So Microsoft built a headquarters in North Dakota, and they saved so much money on that, on that fucking tax rebates and the tax discounts from the North Dakota that they could pay to bring all their employees in. So I would have had to go there and I would have had to live on the Microsoft campus. And they were going to pay for me to move, by the way. They were literally going to pay me like 20K just to move to a literal company town. I'm not kidding you. None of this is, you can ask anybody in my life this story, okay? And I also wouldn't be able to get body mods because I'd be working for Microsoft corporate, their sales division. They would be sending me around the world to go and talk to people, lots of fucking real shitty people. And I was living full time as a woman. And I know what it's like for women in sales, okay? It's bad. Guys, this sucks. And I know other people in this chat. If Chud Logic's still here, Chud Logic used to be in sales. Chud Logic can tell you how bad it is for women in sales. It's bad for everybody in sales, but it's especially bad for women in sales. 
So I would have had to fucking suppress it all down. And it was the hardest fucking decision of my life. Like, really. I sat there fucking rolling over in my sleep trying to decide, am I going to fucking really leave this money on the table? Can I leave this motherfucking money on the table and go take a total chance on writing? And I did. And uh, I was poor as fuck. And I didn't make any money. I didn't make barely any money at first from writing. Just terrible. Just, oh, it was agony. I was writing these huge repetitive documents just to just to be able to make money writing. And what I did at that time is I made a big list. Uh, it was kind of like a bucket list because I was not motivated at all. I was feeling horrible. And uh, I was working at a movie store and uh, uh, I was writing these terrible articles to try and build up my resume for writing even though I went to school for writing you know I was I have I am a very good writer I I know that I am um and so I wrote up this list and on that list was a couple of things one of them was this right here get in my tongue split so it's been about six years that I've had that on my list and I don't know if you know this but getting your tongue split is actually pretty difficult it's pretty fucking hard everybody it's real hard okay not only are there not a lot of people who are willing to do it um because it's freakish let's be honest it's it's freakish see it's freakish um but also because uh you know there's this fear permeating American society like permeating American society that uh, everyone's going to sue each other. They're all going to betray each other and snitch out. And there's a lot of snitches in America. Don't get me wrong. America is a country that's just riddled from top to bottom with snitches, with people who don't, who aren't okay with you living the way you want to live your life. And so they snitch on you. They try to get somebody else to make you do what they want you to do. It's bad. So, it's really hard to get it done. But guess what? Russ Fox, who is my, who is the artist who did this. Russ Fox. If you're interested in this sort of thing and interested in seeing his body mods, look him up online. Russ Fox. There's going to be a command for it in the future. So because when people ask where I got my tongue done, Russ Fox was the man. He's from Vancouver. Well, he's not from Vancouver. He's from, he's in Canada. He lives in Canada. He originally operated out of Toronto and he was visiting Vancouver. Russ Fox. Russ, R-U-S-S-F-O-X-X. -S -S yeah? So, um, no, see, I'm wearing the face of my enemies right now. I fucking tore it off and sew it, sewed it on. So, but let's continue. So, Russ Fox happened to be coming to Vancouver, and Vancouver's only two and a half hours from me. So I wanted to get my tongue done. But that meant I needed to take time off stream. And I'd already taken a little bit of time off stream because I was feeling stressed by the by the everything. Which we'll get to. We'll get to that. Don't worry. We'll get to that part. But I was like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to fucking do this. So I said, let's do it. And from the moment I decided, I made that fucking phone call to Russ Fox. He picked up the phone and I booked the interview. Or I, booked the, uh, I booked the appointment. I knew I was in for a fucking ride. I knew I was terrified from the absolute second I started. I was fucking terrified because, guys, your tongue cut in half. That's fucking a lot. But I wanted it. So I was scared, but I wanted it. Yeah? You thought I was going to get horns? Oh, he offered, but I just didn't have the money. Can I move the parts independently? Yes, I can. Hold on. Wait. I'm still practicing, okay? Look. Um, I'll tell you, I'll tell you in a minute. I'll tell you all of it once we get there. Okay? We'll get there. We'll get there. Uh it's gonna take a little more practice for me to get it down. Yeah, oh yeah, Constance, yeah. Yeah, taste that. 
Now, um, so, um, yeah, I know this. I knew that. I knew I'm fucking sexy and you all know it. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. I'm not going to hurt you. Don't worry. It's not, it's not bad. It's not bad to be sexy. Okay. It's so, so good. Now, um, meh, blin, blin. I, I do it all the time. I actually do it all the time when I'm out and about. I do that. Now, uh, so yeah, so I went up to Vancouver and this is where the story gets really good. Okay. Because I was given an address and I went in and, oh man, was this place wild. Okay. So such a, such a vibe. Okay. I went in, it had a double door, a double security door, a cage door, you know, like you do in when you're afraid your short, your store is going to get robbed. So it had a cage you got to unlock and another one you got to go in. Had two fucking massage beds and a stack uh, uh, and a, and a, uh, a storeroom full of medical equipment, a big studio light and a, and a couch and a bunch of people were hanging out in there. And then there was a back room, which was full of mannequin bodies. I'm not kidding you. Literally decapitated mannequin bodies, fucking arms, legs, uh, all this shit you can imagine costume pieces. And the bathroom was all the way in the back of this room with all this shit in it. And they even had an old, uh, uh, what are they called? Um, those organs, the pedal organs that you can pump, you know, with your feet and it goes all back in there, all covered in dust. And the bathroom was way in the back. So I was like, oh, whoa, this is a fucking vibe. I'm in like a, like, I'm in like a fucking, uh, like a underground surgeon, but not. It was just his new store. They hadn't set it up yet. That was a new location. He's going to be coming to Vancouver more, which is cool for Seattle folks who want to get their tongue split or anything else because he does a whole lot of stuff. I might have him do more work on me in the future. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. Anyway, so I'm sitting there and the person who's going before me is this cool ass fucking alien girl who had purple eyes already she had her eyes tattooed purple like her eyeballs you know when they ink your eyes and your eyes change color now that's a risky one looked cool as shit and she was getting two 10 millimeter windows put into her nostrils at once no anesthetic with a little razor tool that moves in a circle and they put a cork in your nose and they go yoink and they pop it right out and she took it like a fucking champ. And so I'm sitting there. I And I'm I'm steeled. I'm going. I'm not going anywhere. There was no way I was backing down once I got to that point. Not even close. Yeah, scalpeling. It's like this little circular scalpel, okay? All right, see you soon, Constance. It'll be over. Don't worry. Don't worry. Because, Saucy Fox, uh, there's laws about that. You can't do anesthetic unless you're a doctor. Even if you're, even if you're trained... Even if you're good at it, even if you can get your hands on it, you can't use it unless you're a doctor. Even for something small like this, even though there's no danger, there's no danger in using minor anesthetics. You're just not allowed to. Yeah, not allowed to. Topical won't do shit for this. So, uh, I sat there and I waited for her to get hers done. There's a lot of blood and a lot of, uh, you know. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so motherfucking scared. I am so fucking scared. It, did the, it, the Impo Yamaro never make it up? Oh, it's okay. Don't worry. Hey, don't, don't panic. We'll get it next time. It's one emote. We missed it. It's fine. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. We'll get it next time. Just put a note for, for tomorrow. Okay? Oh, it's here. Yes, it is. It is here. You did put it up. What? Why are you distracting me in the middle of my story? I got fucking, I got a fucking fun part to go to. Okay. So here's what happened. All right. So I went in and it was, and when my time came, I was fucking terrified. And he said, all right, don't worry about it. You've got this. You've made it this far. It's almost over. Now, this is not going to be as bad as you thought it was, but the recovery is going to be worse. Just so you know. So then he took my, he got these two calipers. And he grabbed my tongue like this eh, and pulled it out. And then he went whoop and he had this pristine scalpel. And he went whoop and it was done. And then he jumped in and he was sewing and it fucking sucked. But I just sat there and, and, uh, and guess what? I did it. My tongue was done and fucking iced it. 
and everything. And then I drove home by myself for three hours because nobody I know has a passport and could go to Canada with me. I have the highest pain tolerance of anyone you know. I'm just telling you that, okay? Okay? You have a passport? I thought you said you didn't have a passport. Oh! Oh, well, whatever. It's over now. So then I got home, and and that thus concluded, thus began the really hard shit, okay? Because he was right. The actual procedure isn't that bad. As it turns out, there's not a whole lot of nerves in the middle of your tongue. Most of them are on the, the edges. And there's no blood vessels in the middle of your tongue. So barely any blood, interestingly. But what starts to hurt is the swelling. Oh my motherfucking God. Because my tongue swolled up to the size of a fucking sea cucumber. And it was pinching on all the sutures for five motherfucking unbearable days. Where I couldn't eat anything but liquids. Thank God to, uh, to the fucking smoothie place around here. Because the smoothies were awesome. Lifesavers. Seriously. Fucking salute to the smoothie artists around here, okay? And, uh, and it sucked. Oh, it fucking sucked. But guess what? It's all good. It's all fucking good. Come as a liquid, but come is, is was literally explicitly forbidden. Because unfortunately, uh, putting a cock in your mouth when you're having your tongue split is really not a good idea. Like at all, just so you fucking know. How long did it take for the swelling to go down? About three days and then two extra until I got the, uh, or three, three days to get the swelling to start going down. And then three days where you have to wait with the sutures in. Yeah. Um, and that, and now I'm at a position where my tongue is almost completely healed, complete, almost completely. All the bruising is gone. There's a, there's a little bit of nerves that are still waking up because that takes a long time. When you get thing like that, your, your nerves basically get like cut off for a little bit. It's not so bad. Um, it just basically feels like the, around the tip of my tongue, those little tips, they kind of feel like a ELAC. Yo, ELAC. Good to see you. So around the tips there that you can see, um, it feels like a little bit like you, like I burned my tongue with soup and that's about it. And my muscles are a little sore because they didn't get used for a while, but it's all good. Oh, I can do anything now. I can do whatever the fuck I want. It's all healed up. Once the sutures are out, you can do whatever the fuck you want with it. Because it's just, it is just your tongue. Like, the middle of your tongue is just one little, it's really funny. If you look at tongue anatomy, the middle of your tongue is just like a little bit of connective tissue. That's why you can move it separately. See that? See how I can move it like that? You can do that. It just looks different when they're stuck together. And look, I can stick out only one. Oh, they are. See? See? It's pretty cool. On the tips of my tongue. It's on the it's on the split of my tongue, loves. Um, thank you very much, Bear TV. Appreciate that. Um, so do things taste different now? Not at all actually has not affected the taste at all um except for literally the first day the first day because it was so swollen i couldn't taste anything at all um but minus that it was fine yeah so it's super cool um and uh yeah it's super super easy now um is it weird to eat spaghetti some things are a little bit weird and yes it does affect my talking a little bit you can probably hear it in my d's see hear that d my d's are a little bit harder my teeth are a little bit harder and my s's are a little more a little bit more serpentine honestly um it's not all that weird the weirdest thing is like 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 skittles and stuff stuff like that that stuff is a little bit hard um because they like they can like flip around and also another thing that's hard is getting my piercing back before i used to mess with my piercing a lot 
Uh, it's hard to get. <laughs> See? Not that bad, though. I'll fiddle with a Skittle on stream. Maybe some point. I don't have any right here. Yeah, listen, I got a villain lisp, I guess. Um, So, yeah, it's a good solution to break the piercing habit, isn't it? Now I just fuck around like this. I just do this. Nice and easy. Doesn't do any damage. Feels good. Feels great. By the way, the tongue feels fucking great. Let's just be completely honest. In every way you, in every way your brain is thinking about right now, it feels great. That's right. You go ahead. Let, I'm not going to say shit. You let your imagination, you, you lovely, oh, my lovely imps, let your imagination run wild. In every way that you can think, yes, it rocks. Yes, that's part of the reason why I got it. Fucking yes. The fucking, the fucking kissing. The motherfucking, wait a minute. I said I wasn't going to say it. Okay. I wasn't going to say it. You go ahead and imagine. There you go. Can you use the two lobes to grasp objects like small fruits or foods? Yes, you can, but that's going to take me a bit to practice because I need to strengthen the muscles. So when you get it cut, you use different muscles, muscles that you don't normally use. So they're like super weak. So like for the first month, I'm going to be able to do like this and that kind of stuff and Wait, it's hard to do, but anyway, I'm going to be able to do that, but it's going to take me a little bit because I got to train the muscles on the sides, which your tongue doesn't usually do because your tongue will usually have like a slightly dominant side. Anyway, um, so body mods are really important to me. As you can probably imagine, they're something that make me feel inspired. Like I am shaping, like I am able to shape myself in, in ways that, uh, that I feel the world often denies us, you know? So you might have to get your partner's opinion on this. Fun. They're saying they don't, they're not believing me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Give it, give them, give them the res response. Is the tongue fucking based as shit? Is yeah, it as good for what I said it was? It's fucking, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's better than you'd expect it to be. Yeah. And you'd expect it to be good. It's, it's fun. It's fun. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. It's it's as good as you think. It's as fucking cool as you think it is. It's That's nifty. right. It's nifty as fuck. So, um, so yeah, uh, it was a big deal for me, and it took a long time. It was very hard. And to be fair, I'm only really like just out of the healing period, but I really wanted to come back because I fucking missed you guys. I fucking missed my imps so much. I fucking miss getting on here and shouting about st stuff. I've been driving my motherfucking housemates insane ranting about stuff that I would normally rant about on stream to you guys who like it. Now, some of some, my housemates generally like it, to be honest. But, you know, you know, they get tired of it after a while. They get real tired of it after a while. I flammed my penis in the car door. I flammed my, I flammed my penis, in penis in the car door. Now, it's really funny. Um, it's really funny because for the first couple of days, I literally couldn't speak anything but ooh woo. I wasn't supposed to talk at all, but sometimes I needed to say things because it was really hard. And so I was like, uh, fine. Can you get me something? Can you get me some water? Can you get me some, um, can you get me an ice water? That was me for the first couple of days. I was literally trapped in ooh woo. And now I have ascended because I was, I was, I was forced into the ooh woo. I have come out the other end. Yo, thank you very much, Sophia, Christina, Botha. I got to read the donos in a minute here. Da, da Vinci? I should have picked up some ASL. Yeah, I should have, but it was so short and I was in so much pain. Literally, wait, I'm trying to tell you, I would have loved to pick up ASR, ASL, but I was in so much pain, I literally couldn't think. Like, for the first three days, I was just sitting there going, it sucked. It sucked. It sucked. I didn't even finish my cigarette. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Grime Dango. Grime Dango, we did Minecraft over text-to-speech. That's how bad it was. I couldn't talk. I just typed in game, and it was like, please, the bees have stung me because I fucked up again. I'm so sorry. All right. Q&A segment. Before we move on to the next thing, because I got a lot more for you all. We have a, a lot more. A lot more. 
But Q&A, anybody got any questions about the tongue? Hit me with the tongue questions. Let's get them out of the way. Hit me with the tongue questions. I know you have them. I know some of you have them. Hit me with them, and as long as they're not TOS, I'll answer them. Waiting. Price it was about uh, $600. Does that tongue make me nasty as a one-eyed snake? Twice as nasty as a one-eyed snake. What other body mods do you want? Uh, I, ha I want a lot of tattoos, and then uh, I might get horns. I might. We'll see. We'll see. Do you think it'll get in the way of debate at all? Do you find uh, any slip of the tongue, so to speak? Nope. I, I don't think it'll get in the way. I think it'll make me even better at debate. Because all these motherfuckers already think I'm a demon, so they might as well see it for their own fucking eyes. Do you know it's legal in Britain to do that? It's illegal to do everything in Britain. Britain is a funless island. Does it feel weird sitting in your mouth? Because I know when you get teeth removed, it's really weird for a while. Does it feel uh, like natural like that? Oh, it feels super natural. Um, it feels totally normal now that the swelling has gone down. It basically, when it's laying in my mouth, look. It just sits like normal in my mouth. It's when I stick it out that it splits. So yeah. Uh, to be honest, I've had lots and lots of, I've had lots of body mods at this point, so I haven't had any issues with infections or rejections. Can I smell my enemy's fear? No, but I can taste it. I can fucking taste it, motherfuckers. Is it fun with my oral fixation? It's fucking awesome. And guess what? In the future, I can't do it now, but in the future, I'll be able to fucking hold the cigarette or a joint with my fucking tongue. Or a blunt, for that matter. Did I get anesthetic beforehand? No. It is illegal to get anesthetic. So I did not. I had to, had to fucking deal with it. It wasn't as bad as you think. It wasn't. It, I'm telling you. It's the, the, the procedure itself is not as bad as you think. It's, it's the recovery that hurts. And the anesthetic cannot help you with that. Can you use both sides independently while doing the nasty? Yes. Easily. In fact, uh, yeah. It's super easy to do that, and it feels awesome. Is it the best oral stim toy? It is the best oral stim toy. Why isn't there cooperation with a doctor? Because doctors, look, doctors don't like to do this kind of stuff, okay? There are doctors that do it, and they charge like $3,500, which is exorbitant, and they prey on fear, even though this is a simple, low-risk procedure, even though it seems extreme. It seems very, it, it is visually extreme, but the actual procedure is 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 simple by comparison it requires care you need to know what you're doing but you don't need to be a like a 12-year med medical doctor was I able to use painkillers for recovery uh i did not i do not like opioids so i did it with a leave a leave and a lot of ice most uh most body modders there is a very popular a uh, body modder or a a what's it called a Piercy's a Piercy's bill of rights which is sort of unilaterally agreed upon by most body piercers and they will display it in their store and they obey it which is that their job doesn't finish until they're until the person they pierce is finished that you have a whole bunch of rights to these sort of things and most of them agree to it hey sorry I I don't have twitch chat up right now I should have twitch chat up but um but I really, really need people to, uh, uh, if, if you're in Twitch chat, uh, either my, my mods got to let me know, um, or I got or you got to come over to the website. Cause I, I got too much on my head right now to, to be able to keep track of multiple chats right now, even though YouTube chat, I love you. Hold on. Let me bring up YouTube chat. I want to give YouTube chat a little bit of love cause you guys deserve it. Cause I love you all very much. YouTube chat. We got fun, dumb hero, first of Ania M Toranala. Uh, uh, Walter L, Knight Scorch, Comrade Cat Pernicus, Trev Ken, Walter L, Fancy Necrosi, Comrade Cat Pernicus, Henry Duck Fan, Meticule Vitriol. Uh, we've got Document the Drama. We've got Leah! Leah! Oh my god! Leah! Good to see you again. I've missed you all so much and in a non in a non parasocial way, but I recognize your names and you guys come to my shows and you give me feedback and I do miss you. Okay? Okay. Queen Leah. 
Leah, the patron of the space, who will always, in my heart, be the patron in the space, has helped me to do this. Okay. Any other questions? Any other questions about it? Do they cauterize your tongue? Nope. They use a uh, they use simple, old fashioned sutures. They're the best ones. Is it permanent or not? Nah? One hundred percent permanent. If I want this undone, I have to go get it redone. I have to get it sutured back together, and it can be undone. But it requires you to get your tongue sutured again, which really, let me tell you, it really fucking sucks. The sutures suck, okay? Rivi. Did the sutures dissolve? No. I had to go and get them yoinked out, and I will not talk about that on stream because it will really make you, it will really make you all squicked out. If any of you want, later on the Discord maybe, or sometime on the Discord, um... Tell me, and I'll tell that story for the people who have a strong stomach. But that shit was too... That was a lot for me. It's it's wild. I'll tell you. I know we got some... I know we got some pain sluts in chat who want to hear about that. And so you, my motherfucking, my lovely little pain sluts. Oh, my little pain sluts. You just remind me, and we'll, we'll talk about it off stream. Believe it or not, not blood everywhere. The blood thing is really... There's basically... Okay, look, hold on. Let me show you. I'm going to teach you a little anatomy lesson. Ready? Look. Do you see that discoloration? The blue stuff. Under your tongue. If you look under your tongue, you will see two blue spots. That is the blood vessels. They run on either side of your tongue. This procedure does not get close to any of them. So there's barely any blood. You can't use self-dissolving sutures, though, because you don't want them to move at all during the healing process. Yeah, m for many purposes, uh, self-dissolving sutures are fa are fa fine, um, but you, you can't for this. Yeah, you can't use those for this. You have to have old school sutures, or you got to go to a doctor and do all this stupid shit. My teeth are relatively straight. I have a little bit of crooked teeth down here, but yeah. It's partially because of the saliva, and it's also because your tongue moves so much that if it shifts and they start to dissolve early, it won't heal properly. And you don't want that. You want it to heal properly, obviously. But yeah, so that's it. That's part of it. Yes, I did say pain slut, and I'll say it three more times. Pain slut, pain slut, pain slut. I love my pain sluts, okay? Does it feel like getting the wisdom tooth removed? Oh, get the what? You fucking, all right. Dissociation? Oh, yes. I absolutely use tactical dissociation. That is the only way. That is the only way I was able to do that. Uh, it doesn't really feel like getting a wisdom tooth removed. It feels like a lot faster than that. Getting getting oral surgery is a hundred times worse. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. It's a hundred times worse. Tactical dissociation is a thing. Yes, it is. It's very hard to train yourself to do, but if you are somebody who wishes to endure pain, you must. You must, you must learn it. And this is something that I have learned. I know how to endure pain. I have endured a lot of pain in my life. And so as a result, I know how to power through. It doesn't mean I like it. Um, well, not always. Okay. Not some of the time. Okay. Once in a while, I don't like it. Okay. Once in a while, I don't like it when it's really strong. Okay. All right. What it even is to dissociate. Okay, uh, well, that's, an, that's a different conversation, okay? That's a different conversation, okay? Oh my God. Y'all trying to get me distracted in a hundred different directions right now. hundred different fucking directions. But we got so many eyes on us. This is so great. So, so let me tell you something, okay? Oh, hey. Oh, uh, yeah, do we have the... Where's the art? Look, we got, we got one of the Demon Mama arts up there. We got another one that's going to be going up soon. This one right here. We have to fix this one real quick. It's okay. Oh, can you fix that book real quick? Thank you. You can see it. It, it, it fell out, yeah. but this one's going up eventually. So we got we got all of them. And I have your Impo Comfy. Yep, got the Impo Comfy right over there. We're gonna get a little frame eventually, which is gonna be cute as fuck. It's sick. So um, yeah. So that's basically it. Any other questions about the tongue? Ra. No, my R's don't really. Ra, 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 ra. I've always been able to roll my tongue. I've already I've always been able to roll my R's. Um, but yeah, it's not hard. Ba -ra 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 -ra. 
Occasionally, I might mess up. Nah, it's not hard. I can still do my.